my unicorn suit just to tell you a really silly joke about a unicorn. Okay, what do you call a unicorn with no horn? A horse! <laughs> Alright, let's clap our months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We're in the month of April, the year 2020. Let's count our days. One, two, that's it. It's the second of April. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, all day long, all day long. Yesterday was Wednesday, tomorrow will be Friday. Oh, what fun, oh, what fun. Today is Thursday, the 2nd of April in the year 2020. And next week we'll have the holiday Passover start. And the week after that, I guess on the weekend, it's going to be Easter. And then the next week it will be Orthodox Easter. And that Wednesday of Orthodox Easter week will be Earth Day, a day where we celebrate our planet. And then it will be the beginning of Ramadan at the end of that week. This is a month that is chock full of holidays. One, two, three, four, five big days are going to happen in this month of April. And really, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 days in April are going to be very important for a lot of people. So I hope you enjoy all of your April holidays that are coming up with your family. You should let me know how you're going to celebrate your holidays. But this week we're talking about humor in Positivity Project. Sometimes I make myself laugh. Do you ever make yourself laugh? I have a joke for you. Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> That's a funny one. That never gets old. Well, not only do I have a funny joke for you today, I have a funny story about a trip to the grocery store. Are you ready? Something Good by Robert Much. Art by Michael Marchenko. Taya went shopping with her father and her brother and her sister. She pushed the cart up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle. Taya said, sometimes my father doesn't buy good food. He gets bread, eggs, milk, cheese, spinach, nothing any good. He doesn't buy ice cream, cookies, chocolate bars, or ginger ale. So Taya very quietly snuck away from her father and got a cart of her own. She pushed it over to the ice cream. Then she put 100 boxes of ice cream into her cart. That's Taya so pushed the cart up behind her father and said, Daddy, look! Her father turned around and yelled, Yikes! Taya said, Daddy, good food! Oh no, said her father. This is sugary junk. 
It will rot your teeth. It will lower your IQ. Put it all back. So Taya put back the 100 boxes of ice cream. She meant to go right back to her father, but on the way, she had to pass the candy. She put 300 chocolate bars into what? her cart. Taya pushed that cart up behind her father and said, Daddy, look! Her father turned around and said, Yikes! Taya said, Daddy, good food! Oh, no, said her father. This is sugary junk. Put it all back. So Taya put back all the chocolate bars. Then her father said, Okay, Taya, I have had it. You stand here and don't move. Taya knew she was in big trouble. So she stood there and didn't move. Some friends came by and said hello. Taya didn't move. A man ran over her toe with his cart. Taya still didn't move. A lady who worked at the store came by and looked at Taya. She looked her over from the top down, and she looked her over from the bottom up. She knocked Taya on the head, and Taya still didn't move. The lady said, this is the nicest doll I've ever seen. It looks almost real. She put a price tag on Taya's nose that said $29.95. Then she picked Taya up and put her on the shelf with all the other dolls. A man came along and looked at Taya. He said, this is the nicest doll I've ever seen. I'm going to get that doll for my son. He picked up Taya by the hair. <gasps> Taya yelled very loudly, Stop! The man screamed, Ew. Ah! It's alive! And he ran down the aisle, knocking over a pile of 500 apples. A lady came along and looked at Taya. She said, this is the nicest doll I've ever seen. I think I will buy this doll for my daughter. She picked up Taya by the ear. <gasps> Taya yelled as loudly as she could, Stop! The lady screamed, Ah! It's alive! <laughs> and she ran down the aisle, knocking over a pile of 500 oranges. When Taya's father came along looking for his daughter, he said, Taya? 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 Where are you? Taya! What are you doing on that shelf? Taya said, It's all your fault. You told me not to move, and people are trying to buy me. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, come now, said her father. I won't let anybody buy you. He gave Taya a big kiss and a big hug. Then they went to pay for all the food. The man at the cash register looked at Taya and said, Hey, mister, you can't take that kid out of the store. You have to pay for her. It says so right on her nose. Twenty-nine ninety-five. Wait, said the father. This is my own kid. I don't have to pay for my own kid. The man said, if it has a price tag, you have to pay for it. I won't pay, said the father. You've got to, said the man. The father said, no. The man said, yes. The father said, no. The man said, yes. The father and Andrew and Julie all yelled, no. no. Then Taya quietly said, Daddy, don't you think I'm worth $29.95? Uh, um, I mean, well, of course you're worth $29.95, <laughs> said the father. He reached into his wallet, got out the money, 
paid the man and took the price tag off Taya's nose. Taya gave her father a big kiss and a big hug. And then she said, Daddy, you finally bought something good after all. <laughs> then her father picked up Taya and gave her a big, long hug and didn't say anything at all. The end. Oh my goodness, what a silly, silly book. Do you think that story was funny? Which parts of the story were funny? I think the silliest part was when she was standing on a shelf pretending to be a doll. That would have never, ever happened in real life. No way. Or maybe the funniest part was when she filled the shopping cart with 500 candy bars. Was it 500? No, 300. That's so many candy bars. I can't even imagine that many candy bars in my cart. <gasps> Have you ever tried to write a funny story before? In your gratitude journal, you should write a funny story. If I were to write a funny story, I might write a story about an elephant named Jim who wanted to fly. So he went to a giraffe and said, could you please teach me how to fly? And maybe the giraffe will say yes. And then they'll both try to learn how to fly together. That would be really silly to me. I wonder what would be really silly to you. All right, guys, welcome back. I have another joke about the unicorn. Maybe like this one's funnier. What did the unicorn say to the carrot? You know corn. 